Hey everyone, welcome to Science Based Fitness. Today is part three of my golf mini series. Today we're covering the lower body muscles of the golf swing. In previous videos, I've done the core muscles and I've done the upper body muscles. So our main focus in this video is gonna look at lower body muscles that are the most active during the golf swing. We're gonna use some EMG data to extract which muscles we should be trying to target the most. At the end of the video, I'm gonna give you a few exercises you can mix in on your own. So let's get right into it. Our golf swing consists of multiple phases, and at each one of these phases, there are different muscles that are more active. I want to primarily focus on three of the most active lower body muscles during the golf swing. Now make sure you stay tuned all the way to the end because I'm gonna show three exercises on how to train each one of these muscles, and I'll give variations for each fitness level. Now here's your warning ahead of time. If you're not healthy enough to exercise, please don't partake in these exercises until you've spoken to your doctor. So we'll start with the least active and count our way back, even though number three and number two were very, very close, and number three is going to be the hamstrings. Now I put the hamstrings in this position based on the maximum voluntary contractility. If you're unsure of where the hamstring is, this is the back of the leg as shown here. And this was very close with our second muscle group with that second muscle group being the quads. You can see from the data here that the vastus lateralis is popping up quite often. And this is one of the four muscles that make up the quad as shown here, which is the front of our leg. Rounding up these three with the most active lower body muscle being the gluteus maximus, basically our butt muscle, which is one of the biggest muscles in the body. Now I wanna cover one exercise per each of these muscles, but I will say that each exercise seems to have some overlap with the other muscle groups, which is totally fine. So without further ado, let's jump right into this first exercise, and this is gonna be primarily hamstrings. RDL or Romanian deadlift primarily focuses on the hamstrings but gets a good amount of glute activation. On the far left here you can see the most basic of these variations where I'm simply using a weight having a slight bend on the knees we're hinging at the hips trying to keep our back straight and I'm bringing this down to a step. You can get creative and use different objects that you can lower a weight to. This is the most basic variation of this exercise. In the middle here you can see a more advanced variation where I'm using a heavier weight and I don't have the step anymore, so I can bring the weight a little bit lower on this variation. On the far right here, we can see a much heavier variation where I can actually overload this exercise. This will be a more advanced variation, and if you're unsure if you can handle this exercise, I definitely recommend starting closer to the left. The second exercise here is a step up. Now the step up variation, we're gonna go with a very small step and something to hold on to. Balance is a crucial component of this exercise, which is crucial for when on unlevel surface during a golf swing. All we're gonna be doing is simply lowering our foot down, tapping that ground and lifting back up. In the beginning, you can lower your whole weight onto this leg and then stand back up. Eventually, a more advanced version would just gently tap while keeping the tension on the leg doing the stepping up. Try to focus on keeping your heel flat and pushing your butt back as you step down. If you're comfortable enough to not use a support beam, that's totally fine. That assessment will be up to you when it comes to your personal fitness level. Now on the far right here, you can see the more advanced version and I'm stepping much higher without a support. This will actually activate your glutes quite a bit along with your quads. Our third exercise here is gonna be a squat. The most simple variation here is gonna be a box squat where we lower our body onto a chair a seat or some type of a bench as you can see here and then you stand back up in the center here this is more of a goblet squat where we're holding a weight in front of our chest and we're squatting down now we're using our muscles to control ourselves up and control ourselves down we're not sitting down onto a bench and our final variation on the far right similar to the first exercise in the rdl we're using an actual barbell this allows us to overload this muscle and allows us to build and develop this muscle a little bit more so hopefully you guys found this video useful and helpful. If you haven't seen my other videos in the mini series, they'll be linked right here at the end of the video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you have any questions, leave them below and hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for the next one. Have a good day.